Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be making a bow using the thin ribbon from the Dollar Tree. So, let's get started. I really like the way this ribbon looks. It's really pretty. And so, I looked at several tutorials on YouTube. I also looked at a few instructions on Pinterest. And this is the best idea that I could come up with. So what we're going to do is just start making some loops. And so all we're going to do is like we're just going to take this and I'm just going to pinch it here because it just makes it a little bit easier for me to fold it over. And so all I'm doing is just keeping this together and I'm just pinching it because I want it to stay together. And I'm just folding it over. You see how that looks? I'm just keeping it very neat. That's the key. And of course, the more I fold it, the more loops. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to cut. If you want it fuller, you can just keep going. But I think this will be a nice size bow. Now, right in the middle, and you can use a ruler for this if you want. You want to make sure your loops are going to be the same size. I'm just going to make a nice little cut right in the center there. However, I'm not going to go all the way over to the middle. So you're just making a small cut right there. Stop. You see how that is? And I'm going to make another small cut on the other side facing it just directly opposite and I'm going to stop. You don't want to cut all the way through because then your ribbon won't come out properly. But I'm just going to take some of this wire, it's a ribbon wire. I think I got this from Walmart but it's been in my stash for a good while. And I'm just going to cut this because that's going to allow you to attach your bow to whatever you want. And so right in those slits, you want to make sure that stays together. This is where you're going to tie it together. So you're pulling this right up into those two slits that you made on each side. Just like that. And you're going to pull it really tight. And you see how that is? I'm just doing it right into those slits, pulling it tight. Yeah, you want to make sure this is good and tight because you're going to start separating your loops. I'm going to just tie, another, tie it in a knot here. So let me show you what that looks like now. That's pretty tight on there. So those slits that were on the side you don't want to make them close into the middle, but you want to have enough to just pull it real tight. And so that's what we're working with so far. Now you're going to start on the inside. And you're going to start pulling out. The first thing that will come out is that tail. If you want it to be a tail, it doesn't have to be. We could always go back and cut this off. But if you want it to be, just pull it out. And here's the other one here. You can just pull that through so that you have both of them facing down. And now you're going to go on the inside here. You're going to take your loop. You want to start at the very inside one and you're going to twist it. 
and that's what will form your loop and have it to stay out to the side. You're going to go on the opposite side pull out another loop and you're going to twist it. Just giving it one twist and I'm just going to take the one that's just left and I'm going to give that one a twist. And that's what forms your loops. This one I'm just going to twist it a little bit more because I want it to really stay out there. Okay, so that's that side. Now you're going to go on the other side. Let me just move these out of the way. And you're going to take another one from the inside, you're going to twist it, pulling from the inside again, and give it a twist. From the inside again, on the opposite side, twist, and then take the last one and give that a twist. Okay, so you have this part here in the back so that you can pull your bow or tie it onto whatever you want to tie your bow onto. I'm just making sure I fluff it out enough. And then if you want, you can either cut these off. I'm just going to make a little tail on that. This is so little. I'm used to working with larger bows. Cut your little tail there. Or you can just cut them right off. So it's up to you. So you got that part to tie on and you've got your cute little bow. Look how little that one is. So the key to doing this is to make sure that you cut those little slits and then you want to make sure that you're pulling out and twisting because that's going to fluff this out a bit. Here's another one I made. It's a little bit bigger. So aren't those super cute and for this one rather than using the wire the ribbon wire to to tie it together I just used part of the bow so you don't have to have that ribbon wire you can use the bow to tie it around and so I hope this was helpful for you I think these are gonna look so cute on some Valentine's Day gifts or just even some gifts for birthdays or whatever. You can make a bunch of these and keep them in your stash until you need them. So I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and as usual, comment below. See you real soon. Bye.